right on set. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Cheers, everybody. How are you today? You're supposed to you do me. You did great. Me. You did great. You're supposed uh, to do okay, me. Okay, start over. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hi, How's it going? There we go. Like Eeyore. I should get... Well, we can't say that. We can't like say Like a certain caricature from a certain show that's a certain sad all the time. That's a certain me. From a bear that likes corn liquor out of a bottle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. You could. We need to edit the, some shows yeah. and see, make okay. it look like that. All right, so it's Friday, cocktail hour. One of our favorite days of the week. Uh, and I actually don't really know what's in store for us. We've talked about it. We're, I think we're doing the classic spritzer, but we'll see. If you like our videos, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We do drop a video every day, Monday through Friday at noon. Um, we do lots of reviews and coffee, but Friday is set aside for really cool cocktails. What you got for us, buddy? And I decided to start finishing this book. <laughs> when we're on page four. <laughs> Well, I started reading I've had through this the book, book for and several there was a years, lot of good and I'm stuff. like, he's always like looking on the last minute well, on the internet and stuff, and I'm like, check that. Usually, when I say, "Hey, what alcohol do you or cocktail do you want to do?" he'll look at the little recipes on the tags of the alcohol that we buy. You he said I couldn't do that anymore. Plus, unfortunately, they don't do that on very many bottles. So, so he's discovered my book. Okay, so what do we got? So we're having the Aperol Spritz. Okay, so last Friday. We mm -hmm. did the Campari Negroni, which was really good. And we were kind of, I mean, we were a little hesitant. I was a little hesitant on getting Aperol and Campari because I've been in Europe a lot and I don't really like what they do. And this is the thing that really was surprising for us um, not liking Aperol because the spritz is very common in Europe. So... I want to try it. I like Aperol. And I want to see if it was just that one time that didn't like it, like my whole gin phase when I tried that one gin. Well, did you have it. Aperol or did you have some sort of no, variant of Aperol? No, it's Aperol spray. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to see. It's probably the combination of the ingredients that get me. But Oh, you had you had an Aperol spritz in Italy. Mm -hmm. It was probably the Prosecco. <laughs> yeah, it could be. So We're going to see. So... Um, I'm hoping that this is a change and that I like it, but we'll see. So far, I haven't been displeased with our little concoctions of Campari and Aperol mixes and stuff like that. We've been sitting for a while, so the ice is not. I'll let you do that since it's your glass. Get the water off so it doesn't dilute your alcohol. Yeah, we were actually chit-chatting for a while. Yeah, and it helps to cool the glass beforehand, too, so it doesn't... Mm -hmm. I mean, you should do that anyway. Okay. So, classic Aperol spritz. We're going to start off with an ounce per glass. So, of, for a single serving, it's just an ounce. Of Aperol. Of Aperol. Which is an Italian, um, or actually, I think it's French, uh, aperitif that was developed about 100 years ago. As I say, every episode we use these in... Um, competitive response to the Campari, which was invented in the 1790s or so. Possibly. Possibly. You tend to get things backwards yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I'm tired. So, did you say an ounce? An ounce of Aperol. An ounce of Aperol, which is a very kind of orangey... I wouldn't say orangey. It's like almost like a... It's a melony orangey. It's like an all-around fruit kind of candy. Yeah. <laughs> Liqueur, yeah. Mm hmm Okay. And, and so, you just opened <clears throat> a cupcake? Prosecco. Prosecco. It didn't go pop. No, because it's just a twist top. Yeah. But this is small economic bottles, and we're not big fans and of Prosecco. So. We actually have lots of Prosecco over in the wine cabinet. Um, probably about 10, 11 bottles, but they're the full size. Um, but we have these little bar things. So if you're gonna develop a bar, you should definitely think about, like we use the mini cans of Cokes and if you're gonna, and stuff, you should get the mini Proseccos and stuff because then you're not opening a big bottle. If you're gonna develop it for variety, if you're always gonna have your favorite cocktail. Every night. Then get the big bottle because it's more efficient. But if you're not gonna have your favorite bottle and you're just gonna try different right. things, get the small bottles because it's less waste. Especially okay. if you don't like 
things you know you don't like. And so we're doing an ounce? I don't like Prosecco and I don't like club soda. We're doing an ounce, right? Two ounces. Two ounces of Prosecco. Two ounces of Prosecco. Okay. And then... Yes, two ounces. <laughs> so it an says, ounce of Aperol, two ounces of Prosecco. So the book says two ounces of sparkling wine, preferably dry Prosecco. Okay. So you could use a Moscato or even maybe a possible champagne. Uh, Technically, you could use red wine, but it doesn't say, because it doesn't specifically say white or red wine. Right. I guess it would be your preference, but it says Prosecco, which is a white wine. He's making noises again. I think they're the chair and not bodily noises, but. Yes, they were the chair this time and not bodily He's noises. actually looking at the camera right. going, and I'm like, I don't think the camera can see you. Remember the good old days when he was here? I mean, this is the first time Andy's been here for filming a long time, but in the good old days, you'd see his hand pop up trying to grab. Kind of like our little Gollum incident this week. That was funny. All right. And so then an ounce of soda water, and all we have is club soda, which as far as I know is just carbonated water. If I'm wrong, let me know. So you could do, if you have a, a soda stream or something, you could do soda water. Yeah, or if, as far as I know, just carbonated water is soda water. Not really a strong aroma to it. Kind of smells like a, a weak uh, The Prosecco wins soda. out over everything else. Yeah. Though. Interesting. Very interesting. It's kind of tart and tangy. Yeah. It would probably be good with a little bit more, um, well, actually, quite a bit more. We were talking about bitters earlier. Okay, so most cocktails have garnishes, but it's a very inefficient to have so much fresh fruit when we don't eat fresh fruit regularly. Mm -hmm. And so I don't like doing garnishes. So it calls for an orange or lemon slice for a garnish. So you were so thinking we're about gonna, orange bitters. I'm going to try the lemon bitters. We're thinking bitters. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just, just a bit. That's probably too much. <laughs> okay, so we have the lemon bitters. Mm. Aroma is much better. Oh, flavor. Way better. Even with the orange on this. I mean, it's on top, so it's going to be more prominent, yeah. but that's what you do with a garnish anyway. I'm going to actually add, because now we're getting away. So, uh, an ounce of Aperol, uh, two ounces of Prosecco. Garnish and, may and, be required on this. Did you say a half ounce or an ounce of club soda? An ounce. An ounce of club soda. Ounce of Prosecco, two of, or ounce of Aperol, two of Prosecco, ounce of um, club soda. You definitely want to do bitters. I did, or uh, a garnish. Yeah, bitters or garnish. So I, with your garnish, you know, put it on there, make it look nice, take a picture, then squeeze it in there and mix it up. And then, because the orange, the, really good. And I'm assuming the li The lemon was. Lemon is pretty good. Made or, it, made it so much better. Because it's about $10. I've never seen it higher for a bottle of bitters. And we've yet to go through a bottle and it, they're very right. long lasting. I just go with bitters. And I just salt. added a uh, couple dashes. Of mint. A mint bitter. So it's a very strong mint now. The mint bitters is very strong. So if you ever start, I can smell it from here. I like that. I like that. Probably one dash of bitter or mint bitters too much, but it's pretty good. So. It changed. That changed it completely different. Yeah. I will have to rethink my Aperol spritz. The lesson when we is head bitters make a big difference, but definitely if you're going to make it all from the traditionally, and it's the Aperol yeah. spritz, a garnish, orange slice, lemon slice. I would choose squeeze lemon. Squeeze it. The orange was really good too. Here, try these, this bitters. Yeah. I'll do it. We have so much stuff. We have cherry bitters, chocolate bitters. There's a. Regular bitters. Arm raised up in them. Couple Prashards. Couple um, Angus Someone stores. in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> he, you're being and ignored. Absinthe. We could do absinthe. I don't think absinthe would work. Uh, Jack Daniels bitters. All sorts of cool 
stuff. <laughs> but I would, <laughs> yeah, I'm ignoring. He I would definitely ignoring. not do the, I mean, what, little man? How do you do one, less than one dash? No, but no. bitter. Who's, I said Can't. I would do one dash less. So Oh, okay. I did like three dashes. You did two. You did a little bit more. Okay. I so, you said do one. from what I've seen, this when is I've an seen... interactive channel. <laughs> Are you sure? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Get on there. Do we have a website? <laughs> from uh, what I've seen, though, a dash is almost a mm -hmm. a stream. We did a couple of drops. So do drops, which the so, bottles will do. So I, don't do a dash, do drops. I actually One, two like drops. the... I don't really like the initial taste with the mint. I like the aftertaste with the mint. Oh yeah, the aftertaste just tastes like a mint. Like, yeah. like a candy. So I would just forget the mint. Just do um, lemon, whatever. Like playing around with um, cocktails. <laughs> one of the things that you could do if you don't want the garnish, because keeping garnish is just difficult, is um, maybe instead of club soda, you do a Sprite or a, a well, soda. Was... Did you put the Tabasco in there? <laughs> Craziness. You like it, don't you? Okay, the Aperol Spritz is a great testing bed for bitters. Just... That adds a little bit extra something. Yeah, not bad. It's not terrible. It didn't make it worse. It just made it interesting. I'm, it's got a little underlying. I like this cocktail. We're gonna make this heat at the very end that you're, it's just building oh, yeah. in my back of my throat right now. I'm pleasantly surprised. But the base one right out of the book, really good. We'll try it again. For just playing with bitters, this actually plays very yeah. well. Yeah, so off camera, we'll probably do some concoction, maybe some fresh garnish. Mm hmm. But yeah. Press things are always going to be better because then you can do a whole lemon or orange slice. Ooh, that that Tabasco's getting Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. But it didn't make it bad. It just yeah. made it interesting. Um, tell us what you um, like or dislike about the Aperol Spritz. I know it's extremely common in Europe and we have a lot of European um, viewers because uh, I can see the demographics. Um, not, they're not necessarily subbed. You guys have a problems with subbing. I don't understand. Um, if you're watching the video, go ahead and sub. Just uh, make us feel loved. But um, tell us what you think about the Aperol Spritz. Uh, I was not a fan the first time I tried it in Italy, and now I, like it, I think I've changed my mind. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely the lemon person. I didn't try that orange, but I do like the lemon person. Yeah, it's, the lemon. It's just sweeter. Mm -hmm. Probably more dessert style, where the lemon would make it more refreshing afternoon style. Yeah. Um, tell us what you think. Make sure you uh, check out all of our other videos. Mondays we do an oddity. Gins, whiskey, or gins, vodkas, tequilas, rums, um, liqueurs. So, Brandies. Huh? Brandies. Didn't you do that? Brandies, brandy? stuff like that. Cognacs. Um, in fact, uh, I think we did a vodka on Monday. It's been such a long week. Um, and then uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays are whiskeys. And we did a vastly different price range of whiskeys this week so check those out of course wednesdays are coffees and we have a absolutely wonderful um uh, mocha um espresso you want to try out and then of course fridays are cocktails so uh, make sure you try them out and if you have a cocktail you want us to try make sure you leave that in the description below and we will be more than happy to to Try it and probably bourbon and booze it with <laughs> rye whiskey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what bourbon and booze means is we just add yeah. rye to it. Yeah. Or so, in, a, in a ghost store of bitters, one yeah. of those two. Bitters, two favorite. We'll do both. <laughs> I, I see him come up to my house and pour a glass of rye and bitters. I haven't actually tried just rye and bitters yet, but I will. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Um, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And we will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.